Gatto. 0 for 2 so far. Fly it out his last at bat. Lines it. Foul. 0 and 1 to count. Gets under it to left center. Oh, man. Oh, man. I never get tired of seeing great efforts like that, Jimmy. Right. One for two thus far. Single last time up. High hopper, left side. And he is out. The old scoop and throw, and I get him. Needy. Two for two on the day. Single last time up. There's a shot. Lee. Plays it off the bounce. Out at first base. After the bottom half of the inning, Chicago leads by nine. Tonight on Newsbreakers, yuppies and CEOs who wear ultra baggy jeans, sports apparel, sneakers, and jewelry. And here's the batter to lead things off. And he's fooled by the changeup. No one won. Hit in the air to right center. And Beltran puts it away. One out. Bases are empty. Line drive. The throw to third. Out. There are two outs. Base is empty. And there's a drive to deep left field. And he puts it away. And that ends the top half of the inning. With the bottom of the inning coming up, the Cubs lead by nine. Tonight on Newsbreakers, does your local news team give you real news? Or do they rely on sensationalist filler? We uncover the naked truth. Reyes, 0 for 2 in this game. Fly it out his last at bat. Pryor has the sign. The looper, short center. Walker can't come up with it. And Reyes is on with a single. The Mets need to make something happen right here. Line shot to third. The Cubs keep coming up with defensive gems. A nicely placed pitch there. You know, just like they say about real estate, Tim. Placement, placement, placement. It's actually location, 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 Jimmy. No one of my places is such a dump. The pitch. And somehow he got out of the way of that one. Pryor winds up. Foul ball. One ball, two strikes. And that ball is ripped down the left field line. Reyes heads for third. The Mets shrink the deficit. Pryor, and here's the windup. Hit in the air to center field. The Cubs are showing off some great glove work in this contest. Here's a question for you. Why do umpires wear gray dress pants, Tim? Oh, they're slacks, Jimmy. Well, what's the difference? You don't know the difference between a pair of slacks and a pair of pants? Excuse me, P.R. Cardine, but in my world, pants is pants. Chopper left side. <laughs> Out! <laughs> and so, at the end of the inning, the Cubs Lead by eight. Tonight on Newsbreakers, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? We brought in a woodchuck expert to get to the bottom of this age-old question. 
Basically, he could chuck about one big log and then he'd get sick all over the place. That's coming up tonight on Newsbreakers After the Game. Glavin stares down the batter. Hit hard to the alley and right. And Beltran reels it in. One out, nobody on base. Barrett steps into the batter's box. Swing and a miss, and the count is 0-1. Hard ground ball toward the hole. And it gets by for a base hit. And Barrett has himself a base hit. One out, runner at first base. And that's just foul. Oh, that heater was just tremendous, Jimmy. You know, I wish I had an arm like that. Mine looks like dead chicken skin. Strike three. The pitcher had total command on that pitch. And so there are two outs and a runner at first base. Good looking change. The batter didn't know what to do there. Owen won the count. Chopped hard to the shortstop. The play at first, in time. After that half inning of play, the Cubs lead by eight. Hey, Tim, how many cars are in the parking lot, do you think, right now? Well, one less than yesterday, Jimmy. My car was impounded because my stereo exceeded the decibel ordinance. Floyd has started to smolder. Pryor. Now set. Oh, and he takes one up high. Oh, his helmet must be ringing like the bells of St. Mary right now. No outs. A man on base. Hit sharply. Cedeno makes the grab for the putout. And they turn the double play. Man, I'd like to see more triple plays. They should work on that more. That wasn't a bad double play, though. And there's a shot to the alley and left. Right? Heads for second. Guns it to second. And he is tagged out. And so at the end of the inning, the Cubs lead by eight. Tonight, it's an all-new episode of Duh! Watch as Dad gets all Ah! Which makes the kids go all Whatever. Pierre struck out in his last at bat. Hard ground ball towards short. And he is out! One out. Bases are empty. Walker. Digs in. And it's hit hard right back up the middle. He got him. Lee, and he is one for three today. Flied out his last at bat. And that's in there for a strike. What's he doing swinging like that? You know, he's playing for the fans now. Sends one high and wide, foul ball. And he smacks one to the alley and right. This could be extra bases. Fires to second. And Lee winds up at second with a double. Got him. What are you doing? Don't run yourself out of a hit. After that half inning of play, Chicago leads by eight. 
You know, Jimmy, I decided when I get old, I'm not going to be one of those guys who gets a haircut every week, wears slacks, and plays golf. I'm going to grow my hair like Einstein and wear baggy old suits and a vest and a pocket watch. Let my freak flag fly. Takes one the noggin, ouch. I bet he's pretty happy they make those helmets out of space shuttle tiles. Ah! Oh! Ooh! Well, you might say there's a real competitive spirit in these two teams. Reyes, one for three on the day. Singled last time up. Pop foul. That was more than just a good play, Jimmy. That was art. He you is know, safe. I've seen this guy practice that catch before games, so now it's second nature. The Mets reduce the lead. Matsui, he's 0 for 3 thus far. Flying out his last at bat. Pop foul. Hit in the air to left. And the pros always seem to make them look easy, don't they? Ah, oh, they make catches like that in Little League all the time. Glavin, one for one this game. Doubled and came around in his last. And with that, the Cubs come away with the win. And that's it for us. On behalf of our entire staff, I'm Tim Kittrow. Good night, everyone. Speaking of staff, they fired that new guy, Ned, the stat guy. Why? I liked him. Because he was making up numbers. Well, that kid came from a reputable uh, New York newspaper, too. I'm surprised at that. And welcome back to the ballpark in the brutal ballet of baseball, baby. Jimmy? Ba, 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 ba. You're up and down. You're giving me whiplash, Tim. I am pumped up for this one, partner. Yeah, why can't, you know, every once in a while you gotta put your pan on the back burner, Tim. Why can't you just say, and now nah, the baseball game's gonna start. I mean, I love baseball too, but I'm not gonna go jumping up and down on the couch, pumping my fist in the air. You, you sound like an idiot. Sends a drive to deep right field. He makes the grab. One out, nobody on base. Hammer to deep left field. And Pena. Makes the grab. There are two outs. Base is empty. And that was just an absolutely nasty cut there, Jimmy. Oh, baby, he's going to crush it next time. Ah, you watch. Clausen, the windup. Oh, that heater was just tremendous, Jimmy. You know, I wish I had an arm like that. Mine looks like dead chicken skin. Oh, man, he was hooked like a fish on that pitch, and now he's the catch of the day. After one half inning of play, we are scoreless. Tonight on an all-new episode of Time Zones, Dr. Simon forgets to set his wristwatch back an hour. You won't want to miss what happens next. That's tonight at 10, 9 Central, 8 Pacific. And here's the batter to lead things off. A little looper, short right. Wow, just an outstanding effort there. He's. I think he's surprised he made that catch. 
One out, nobody on base. And that drifts out of play. And the pitcher's ahead 0-1. Line smash. And he makes the diving grab. What a play. There are two outs. Base is empty. I wonder how they decide who gets to drive the lawnmower to cut the grass at ballparks. I mean, that's obviously the best job. Man, there's probably one guy who never lets anyone else do it. You know, it's his lawnmower. <laughs> Jerk. Hey, Jimmy, you've been losing some weight, haven't you? Oh, yeah, I, I take these pills that literally burn fat while I sleep. And weird side effects? That, those things are dangerous. No, no, no. My bedroom smells like a Virginia ham smokehouse when I wake up, but I love ham. Hit in the air down the left field line. He is out of there. That's a boneheaded base running mistake right there, Tim. After an inning of play, we are tied at zero. And here comes the batter to lead things off this inning. Hit high and deep. This one could go. See you later. That's a home run. And Ramirez gives his team the lead. Well, they might have to move the fences back because that home run made this place look tiny. I knew that was coming. My home run senses were tingling, baby. I got a kind of home run rundar. Didn't look like he had much on that pitch at all, Jimmy. Aside from the gift wrapping, I'd say you're right, Tim. No outs, nobody on base. Do you have an invention? Are you thinking about something others don't think about? Jones steps in. Why not put your useless ideas to work? It might be, it could be, and it's gone! A home run! And Jones puts his team up by two. He took a hack, it went smack, and it ain't coming back, Mac. As a hitter, when you see a breaking ball just floating up there like that, you can hardly believe your eye. And he really had that pitch well-timed. Yeah, you know, that reminds me of my old coach. He used to say, hitting is like comedy. I mean, it's all about timing. Yeah, it was kind of goofy for him to say it because he wasn't funny at all. No, well, coaches sell them hard, Jimmy. No outs, nobody on base. Oh, no, he did this trick with his dentures. He'd swallow them and cough them back up. Merton stands in. Hit high in the air. This one has a chance. It's out of here. Home run. And Merton puts his team up by three. And he gets to touch them all as that one gets out of the park. Shplaboom. That's my new saying, shplaboom. Nothing wrong with that pitch, but everything was right about that swing. Oh, man. That was some tater. That thing was mashed, baked, French, fried, whatever. No outs. Nobody on base. Foul. Clausen with the windup. Strike at the knees. Good follow through by the pitcher there. He'll be talking about that swing with his hitting coach, I'm sure. One out, nobody on base. Oh, oh man, that must have hurt. I mean, geez, oh, Pete, I, I, I don't mean to laugh, but that's funny. 
One out, runner at first base. And that bounces foul. And that one goes in the strike column. Does the word unhittable pitch come to mind here, Jimmy? No, Tim, the word big idiot seems to come into my mind. Well, come on, Jimmy. The guy just swung at a bad pitch doesn't make him an idiot. Well, maybe the wind took it. And Zambrano reaches on the fielder's choice. Two outs, one on. There's a smash toward third. And Pierre is on first with a single. Two outs, runners on first and second. Got under that one to center field. And Griffey puts it away to retire the side. With the bottom of the second coming up, Chicago. Leads by three. Griffey gets ready. If you didn't see the game yesterday, you missed the skydivers who landed in center field, then sang, take me out to the ballpark during the seventh inning stretch. It was great. And they got that guy down off the foul pole by the ninth inning. Drives one to deep center field. The Cubs showing some great defensive skills in this game. One out, nobody on base. Guys, one foul. Speaks it hard to deep left field. Now that catch was something special, Jimmy. Hey, somebody's been saying that prayers. Two outs, nobody on base. Split finger fastball there. That's a tough pitch to hit, Jimmy. Hit high in the air, left center. Cedeno won't get this one. And Kearns reaches base safely. Two outs, one on. Now this guy's just got to beat the ball, beat the ball, beat the ball, baby. Fly ball, left field. And Merton catches it for the final out. After two innings, Chicago leads by three. Hey, Jim, you ever feel like just yelling at the top of your lungs when you're, uh, when you're in church? I don't know what it is, but it, ever since I was a kid, I wanted to do it. And here comes the batter to the plate to lead off the inning. And the old slow ball gets him off balance. Owen won the count. Deep fly ball. Back, back. Goodbye, home run. And Lee puts his team up by four. He got a pitch he could hit, extended his arms, dropped the head of the bat, and bingo, it's gone. He was looking for a slider all the way, Tim. He said, hey, give me a slider, and there it was, and there it went. And that ball is on the express train to downtown Homerville. That homer was all because of he had his little pinky wrapped around the bat. It's little things like that, baby. No outs. Base is empty. Ramirez digs in. Fly ball, center field. And he'll make the play. Jones is really heating up. And there's a shot to deep center. And he pulls it down. 
There are two outs. Base is empty. And now the pitch. Sends a drive down the right field line. And Merton is on second with a double. The throw to the plate. Out. That's how you run yourself out of an inning. Right there, everybody. Going to the bottom of the third. Chicago leads by four. Ever wonder what it's like to strike out five times in a game, boot the final out and let the winning run score, or get taken out of the game in the first inning after being shelled with your family in the stands? Then sign up for Reality Baseball Fantasy Camp at www.waytoblowit.com. Zambrano winds up, and he couldn't lay off of that one. 0-1. Line shot to first. The Cubs are really showing some defensive prowess in this game. One out. Bases are empty. Fly ball. Foul. Chopped hard. Right side. In time. Friel, 0 for 1 thus far. Fly it out his last at bat. Chopper to the hole. Throws to first. Out. With three innings in the books, Chicago leads by four. Coming up after the game, it's an exciting episode of Dictionary Safari. Find out what 13th century synonym for parsley turns Mrs. Gimple's face red with embarrassment. And here's the batter to lead things off. Clausen sets up. Line drive, foul. And that one goes foul. And he'll head back to the dugout after that. How many strikes is that in metric? I mean, like, if you're in France, would that be strike five? No, no, you multiply it times five nines, Jimmy. There's a drive well hit to deep right field. And Kearns pulls it in. Two outs, nobody on base. Got under that one to left field. And Lopez puts it away. And that'll do it for this half inning. And so in the middle of the fourth, the Cubs lead by four. Tonight on Newsbreakers, experts warn that too much fresh lemony scent can cause obesity, balding, and mental disorders in laboratory frogs and chickens. And here comes the batter to the plate to lead off the inning. Oh, he just looked terrible on that cut, Jimmy. Ah, oh, you look good in the cage today, but, you know, it's easy to look good when you have an 85-year-old man throwing you meatballs. He took a good cut, but couldn't connect. Delivers. Got under that one to right center. And he misses the easy catch. He'll be charged with an error. The Cubs... Keep coming up with defensive gems. One out, nobody on base. Crushes it to the alley and left. Plays like that would make this job so much fun. I can't believe I just saw that. Boy, I'd like to see that again, of course. You know, they play it a mazillion times on a highlight show, so by the end of the night, I, I, I'm sick of that. Griffey? 0 for 1 to this point. Fly it out his last at bat. And the pitcher's ahead 0 and 1. And he had a vicious cut there, just did miss. You know, how come the biggest hard